import journals automatically using ADFDI. So let's follow the step-by-step -step approach that we discussed in the previous movie. The first thing you've got to do is log in into Fusion applications and download the template file from Fusion Journal Ledger. And then we've got to populate the data prior to submitting it for the GL interface. So I'm going to minimize this and then I will go to Fusion Applications. And once you have logged in, you can directly go to the Journal Accounting Dashboard or Journals. So if you click on Journal Accounting Dashboard, this is how it looks like. And if you click on Create Journals in Spreadsheet, it's going to download a file by the name of Journal Entry dot xlsx so hit the ok button and once you have downloaded the file open that file so let's go to my folder structure and that's the one i've downloaded now i have used this particular file for testing purposes once and that is the reason why it is showing this statuses but for the first time when you download it the status column will be empty okay now start filling the details out here so give some optional journal name so let's say mango test journal 001 and then give an optional description you can either give the same thing then give the lecture name so in our case it's mango nz primary lecture give the accounting period which is may 1 4 and give the accounting date. Remember that the accounting date format in this is MMDDYYYY. So we'll give MM as 05, DD as 17, and YYYY is 2014. Fine. And then come here on the right hand side and make sure you change the category. To the one that you want so in my case I would change it to manual this one and then you can start entering the values so let's say company 01 okay and the department is let's say 410 okay and then the account I want to create it using the cash payment received so I believe the account is 1110 and then we'll give a sub account of default product also default and then we'll give a currency as NZD either you can choose it from a list of values or you can simply hit the one and it's going to validate from the list of values you can also give a foreign currency but if at all you give a foreign currency then you must have a exchange rate defined from your foreign currency to your functional ledger currency fine and then don't forget to give the debit amount so let's say $1200 and then we'll enter the second line for credit now here we got to give the receivables account which is 1210 then We'll keep the sub account as the default product also default and then we'll keep the currency as nzd only and then i'm going to enter a credit amount of 1200 dollar and once you are done with this you may want to simply hit the submit button but before you even hit the submit button you've got to connect to the fusion database so to connect that you can simply come here to the top and you will see a function called as create journal within that hit the login button and here you connect it first hit the X yes button and then give Sam Adams keep the password hit the sign in button and once you have logged in then hit the submit button and if at all there are any errors in relation to this record it's gonna show you the details of the error over here and there would be one new spreadsheet that would be generated automatically here which will contain details of error description hopefully this record should go through but if at all we've got any errors we'll see it straight away over here plus the status would also be changed So now it's uploading the record into Fusion Applications database. Look at that. 
so now do you want to simply import or import and pause so at this time I simply want to submit the channel import so choose that option and hit the submit button and it's processing that and look at that your process 399 has been submitted hit the OK button and then you can go to the front end and check that particular journal over here and here I'm going to go to manage journals and then within that I will choose the accounting period as May 14th and then the source is spreadsheet that's the one we have given in our ADF DI spreadsheet and hit the OK button and then hit the search button to retrieve the records so that's the one which we have just uploaded so click on that one and you can see our journal name and description that we have given mango test journal 001 so look at that and the amount that we have given was 1200 and if you come to the bottom you will see the amount also over here so that's the end-to-end -end process of uploading the journals via ADFDI based Excel spreadsheet